I'm Bee, and today we're working with plants. I think plants and greenery are a really fun and affordable way to bring life and color to any space. On today's episode, I'm going to show you three DIY plant hacks that help you up your plant game. This project is an easy way to get plants off your shelves. All you need is some rope, a pot, a plant, scissors, and a hook. To start, cut your rope into eight pieces. Length is really dependent on how high you want to hang it, but make sure all of the pieces are even. It helps if your pot has a hole in the bottom to feed the rope through. If your pot doesn't have a hole, then you're going to tie the same knot just on the outside. Tie the rope pieces in a simple knot and cut away the excess rope on the inside of the pot. Now the pot will be able to hang. Placing the pot top down, I'm dividing my strands into pairs and tying knots right above the base of the pot. As you go along, make sure your knots are tight. Next, I'm going to take strands from neighboring rope pairs and tie them together, forming a diamond shape. These knots should rest right underneath the lip of the pot. Now, flip your pot over and tie one more set of knots like before, creating another set of diamonds. Now it's time to add your favorite plant. Pick up your rope and you're ready to install your hanging plant. This tack turns succulents into artwork. You'll need chicken wire, a shadow box picture frame, and some pliers to start. Take apart your picture frame and grab the cardboard backing. I'm going to use it to measure the chicken wire. Fold the wire around the frame to roughly mark the edges. Now, take your pliers and cut this section out of the wire. You might want to wear gloves because the edges do get a little sharp. Keep cutting until you have your square of chicken wire. Perfect fit. And now I'm going to staple the wire to the frame and pop the cardboard back in place. Next, grab some dirt and fill your frame about three quarters of the way. You want to give yourself enough room so you can actually plant your succulents in the dirt. One by one, take your succulents and plant them in the dirt. You'll notice that some of them will be too big to fit in the wire as is. All you have to do is cut enough space in the chicken wire so you can get the roots into the soil. And there you go, a beautiful piece of succulent wall art. To make a light bulb terrarium, you'll need a light bulb and pliers. It's important that you wear gloves for this because as you take the light bulb apart, glass is gonna to start to go everywhere. So I have the light bulb in one hand, and with the other, I'm using the pliers to break the metal tip and make an opening. Once you've broken off the base, you can use a screwdriver to take out the remaining glass support and filament. Next, I'm using some small stones to put in our light bulb as a foundation. Then, using chopsticks, I'm going to put some moss inside the terrarium. I chose reindeer moss because it's nice and squishy, it fits right in there, and it looks nice too. And finally, we'll add an air fern, which is perfect for our terrarium because it doesn't need soil to grow. If you want to hang it, attach some string, and there you go, a light bulb terrarium. There you have it, three of my favorite plant hacks. If you try them at home, let me know in the comments below. To subscribe to Refinery29, click here. To watch more videos, click here. And I'll see you later.